Hello, Aquarius. We're going to take a look at your weekend forecast. The strongest energies we'll be dealing with this weekend. Don't forget to hit that like button real quick. Just click right down there and hit that like button. It helps bump me up in the YouTube algorithm. Um, also, if you would um, want to be entered to win a free personal reading, I give away one every week. To be eligible, you're going to want to like, share, subscribe, and comment hashtag weekend. But please feel free, even if you don't want to win a personal reading, to like, share, subscribe, comment, okay? Also, if you want to book a personal reading, all of the information is in the description box below, okay? I do lives every Sunday. I will be doing one this Sunday. Um, there is a post about it on my community section of my uh, YouTube homepage. What else? Okay, this is a general reading. It's not going to resonate for everybody. Okay, Aquarius, check those other placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you don't know your other placements, there is a link to Cafe Astrology down below. Plug in your information. It'll give you a free natal chart. Easy peasy. <laughs> my dog, uh, I don't know if she got stung by it or chewed on it, but there was a, a wasp in the house this morning. So I had to give her some Benadryl and she's loopy and quiet and weird. Anyway. All right. Cross watchers welcome. Roles can be reversed. Um, gender is fluid. Time is fluid. I'm going to put you on one side, the strongest energy you'll be dealing with on the other side. Feel free to flip it around. And a lot of times we get a mix of both. All right. Let's do it, Aquarius. What's up going on? My sister sign, Aquarius. Leo and Aquarius are sister signs. We have the eight of cups on the bottom of the deck. All right. We have the hanged man and the nine of cups. We have the Four of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. We have the Moon. We have the Page of Swords. We have the Two of Cups and we have the Page of Pentacles. We've got the Ace of Swords and Temperance. We have the Star, there you are, and the Devil. All right, so we have, with that Eight of Cups on the bottom of the deck, we have the Hanged Man, which is Pisces. We've got the Moon, which is Cancer Pisces. We've got Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy here with this Queen of Swords. We've got the Two of Cups, the Page of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Temperance, which is Sagittarius energy, the Star, which is Aquarius energy, which is you, and the Devil, Capricorn energy. It doesn't always have to be something horrible bad. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Let's unpack it. Let's see what's going on. The hanged man. I feel like you are trying to gain new perspective. You're trying to see something differently. You're trying to figure something out. You're trying to find a way to meet everyone's needs and have some wish fulfillment. That's what I feel like. You're trying to find a way to have, have a victory. It's like you, you need something to go your way. And this isn't a little thing. It's like you need this you need something to go your way for, for the long term. Seven of Swords. I almost feel like there's something you don't want to go back to. This could be about a job. It could be anything. But I feel like there's something you don't want to go back to. And I think you had this last week, Aquarius. Something you don't want to go back to, but you might have to. Gosh, you can manifest anything you want, though, I promise. Okay, Nine of Cups. What's this Nine of Cups? What's your wish? To move forward successfully, right? Something that involves um, communication, messages, letters, emails, the internet, that kind of thing. Yeah, and the universe is saying, be patient. We're working on it. Don't give up. Four Pentacles. I feel like money is tight right now. I really do. I feel like money is tight right now. Yeah, and it upsets you. It hurts you that you can't provide for your family the way that you want to, the way that you would like to. The death card, but something is getting ready to give. Something's getting ready to change. Something's getting ready to transform. This situation is going to die. We've got new energy coming in. You're not going to see it coming in with this moon, but it's coming. And the queen of swords. This could be your person. This could be you. Queen of swords could be a person. You could be in a relationship with an air sign or just somebody that embodies that queen of swords that always has your back, that is able to be like, Hey, we're not acting like that. We're having, we're having hope. We're not, we're not acting like idiots. We're not doing this. We're not being negative. You know, they're, they give it to you straight. Helps keep you, helps keep you, you know, 
straightened up, like not getting overcome by whatever, right? By those negative thoughts, situations you don't want to be in, things you don't want to do, right? She gets this, this person, he, she, they get you through this, right? So here's this moon. I feel like this is an opportunity coming that you don't see. You don't see it. The emperor. You may be able to be your own boss in a situation. Or there may be a boss coming to you with some kind of opportunity. Work. Something about your money that you don't see coming in that's going to be good. Page of Swords. I feel like you're, you know, you're open, open to, uh, um, anything. It's like, you know, I need to just, I need to, maybe I need to learn a new skill. Maybe I need to go to school. Maybe I need to do something, but I I'm, I'm, I'm open to, I'm, I'm inquisitive. I'm open to new ideas, always looking for ways to improve our situation, right? Ready to just step out there and go after life. And I think something's coming, man. It could have to do with a Leo or just um, somebody that you see as a strong person or a strong opportunity, or this is just you having the strength to get through this, but also being the, the right strong person for this job. It's like you have the skills that this person needs or that this job needs. So two of cups, you could be partnering up with somebody, but, but you don't have to be. Let's see what this is. King of Pentacles, you may be partnering up with somebody who makes a lot of money. And they're overworked. They have so much work right now, but they need help. So Page of Pentacles, they're offering you, they're like, hey, you want to come work for me? You want to come help me with this, you know, this project, this contract, whatever it is. Um, now, I know this is a single ladies card or whatever, but you're going to come out of this with more money than you had before. You're going from the eight to the nine. Okay. And I do think this is some kind of a partnership or, or through somebody else, you're going to get this opportunity. Yeah, it's going to be a really great, um, you know, you just have to make the decision, decide to go for it. And I think you are with this Ace of Swords. I mean, that's an, an opportunity. And, and they're being truthful with you. Oh, look at that. It's about money. Two Aces. That's good stuff. That Ace of Pentacles is going to be a big come up for you, right? Completing a cycle and starting a new one. And with temperance, this is the universe um, working in the background to make this happen. Mm. King of Wands could be dealing with a, a fire sign or dealing with somebody who is who is just um, thinks you have all of the right attributes for this position. This emperor could be a fire sign. It doesn't even matter. The, the King of Wands... I see it. I want it. It's mine. And he's holding that staff of, of new opportunities, right? This may very well cause some conflict somewhere. If there was somebody else that wanted this job or somebody else that wanted you to work for them, but it doesn't matter. You have to do what's right for your family. And the star card is you right here. This is you getting a wish. This is your destiny. This is your blessing coming right towards you, right? Your wish fulfillment. Yeah, it's coming quick. You've got some opportunity and you're going to be able to gain momentum with this quick. All right. What is this devil card? And by gain momentum quickly, I mean, you're going to be able to make more money from this first opportunity. It's going to be something that builds on itself. What is this devil? Yeah, you're going to get out of this energy of being unhappy and not doing what you want to do and being able to go towards something that makes you happier. Having an opportunity, yeah, for a brand new beginning. We saw that Ace of Swords, right? Pinching and pennies right now, but not for long. You are leaving that energy in the past, okay? I think somebody has been thinking about coming towards you, making you this offer for a while. They haven't said anything about it. They really wanted to think about it, make sure you were the right person for the job. Um, and they they thought about it a lot, and they're coming straight towards you, right? They've made their decision that you're the person that they want. And this empress, you know, could be that emperor too. You know, they see you have a big heart, that you'd be great for the job. This king of pentacles is coming right for you. Okay, you're not going to be stuck in this, in this no, you know, lack of for long. You're not. 
You've got good things coming, money coming, opportunities coming, growth, success, expansion, opportunities. You've got stuff coming. Okay. Whew. All right, Aquarius, make sure you hit that like button for me real quick, please. If you would like to book a personal reading, all of that information is in the description below and I'm sending you tons of, of love, light, and luck. Okay. I'll see you next time.